wanted to give you a quick tour. All the kids just uh, jumped onto Steve's boat, and er everything's a little messy around here because we just got on and we put a bunch of random stuff here. So here's Holly's paddleboard. This is like the front porch area. There's a grill. That whole cooler is full of water. Garbage can, which is really nice. And that these little sides you can jump off of and just open up. That's how we got on and off. So nice. Here's Chris driving. Okay. He's trying to remember how to drive the boat. It's always fun. <laughs> but he's got a little GPS setup right there. And he's got a little drink. Uh, Powerade Zero here. And it's actually not Powerade Zero. Oh, it's, it's not? water with some squeezy stuff. Oh, a lot water. Of oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep your left toe lights up when you're at the beach. Okay, there's a chair here. I know. I'm just giving a little tour. Okay, here's the, this is the sofa bed. We've got the kids stuff around it because they have no place to store things. But here's a table. We actually pushed it back, but it comes out more. Um, and then there's storage, TV, other chair. And then, yes, here's the kitchen. Like I said, everything's everywhere, so it's kind of a mess. But it's just a full kitchen. And then here is the first bedroom which this is Holly and Steve's. I hope they don't care that I'm filming their bedroom. And there's the bed. There's like this little, there's cupboards up here, which is nice for storage. And then these cupboards and drawers. So that's cool. Fridge, bathroom. There are two bathrooms. And here we go. Bathroom. There's the bathroom, toilet. It has a macerator in it. It's actually a pretty decent sized shower. Um, and you boop, here we go. So, I mean, for a in travely trailer, right? There's two bedrooms down here. Let me show you mine. Kate's in this one, but they're exactly the same, just opposite each other. So, whoop. Here's my bedroom on my unmade bed, but it's nice. It has like these, um, so if you're sitting in here, you can see the water out the window. So that is very cool. Then here's the back of the boat. It's super noisy because this is where the engine is. And then there's the slide. So when we're parked, we'll be able to slide off that slide. And then this is, I think the best part is up the stairs. There is this awesome deck. So much fun. I mean, look how fun how beautiful it is here so pretty oh there's another boat and then here we are here's joe hi and we've got some solar panels we got some cheers like i said oh we got the starlink here there's the here's the slide Whoop. so you can just open up this thing here well i don't know how to open it but you can open it up and then slide down, just not while you're driving, which that's what we're doing. But it's so cool because there's just so much space up here. And then you can actually steer the boat from up here, which is really cool. So when Chris gets tired or hot, he can come up here and drive, which is just so fun. I'm enjoying my life of having good enough help to be able to do stuff like this and uh, working on just having a good time with my family. So I'm grateful that I'm here and I'm grateful that you get to come along with me. And it's it's like you're just right here on the swim deck with me. So thanks for joining me. Tell me what fun things you did this summer. I know summer's just about over. School's gonna start next week. Let me know what you did this summer that you haven't told me about. Ha, 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 ha.
We're giving Steve a break. Steve always does all the extra stuff, so we're going to give him a break tonight. We got pepper and onion and butter. Got to have butter. Chris wants this bacon pad, but eh. we got bacon, sausage, and we're going to have eggs. And in the background here, oh, tripping over a chair, we've got Rachel, Audrey, Ruth, and We're Max on the floor. We're playing scum. We're playing scum. And I'm going to learn how to play scum. Nice. We've had a lot of functional fitness on this trip because there is two stories and you have to climb up the stairs and we need to bring things like a table, a chair, like all of the things for the food. So, we also had to dig a bunch of holes. And we've dug Three a bunch of holes. holes. But nothing has felt like work. It's been lovely because we needed a table to play cards on and we needed chairs for breakfast. So it's been really, really fun to get our workouts in because we were just going to have fun today. And those anchors are not light. No. Those are not. I, I mean, in, they're in pretty fact, easy really, for me to lift. We yes, have big well. holes. Big holes. Yeah. I can tell you this though. Last time we were here, I can tell I'm stronger because when I lifted up the anchor, it felt like nothing compared to before when I didn't even think I could lift it. So I'm super proud of myself. Yay! I just had a fly fly into my nose. We well, that was delicious. Look at this Floridian climbing the red rock. And keep going diagonal a little bit because there's a bump up here. There you go. Wow! That feels like accomplishment right there. You should see the cave. Teamwork makes cave the dream there. work. And then there's a stepping stool right here and right there. Wow! See, somebody who has gone before me <laughs> made it so much easier to get to my goal. Right <laughs> yeah. Wow. But the problem is you can't really tell from here how high we really are. No. Because you were so tiny right there. You we were tiny. You guys were <sighs> really up high. Hey, we're just sitting down to dinner. We've got the okay, some so burgers I and eggs. And I've got a two eggs, uh, one dead egg because runny one egg. Whoa. And then zucchini um, and salad. So a couple of burgers. It's gonna be and, yummy. Um, we just finished with dinner and got it all cleaned up. Kate and Max and Sam were finishing the dishes. And I just wanted to tell you when on that walk that we went earlier, that's what happened. So Ruth had different sandals. We all got on the shore and bring up a uh, <laughs> shoe. Yeah, we got we got on the shore, and we brought a chair and a towel and our tennis shoes and socks. Dried off our feet, and then went on a walk with nice tennis shoes on. And Ruth had a and he's a sandal. My Jesus sandals. Yeah, sandals. So then she was having a hard time because. We're on the beach, and so she's slipping in all the sand. And yeah, and getting super hot. And then there was, like, these prickly thorns. Prickly thorns. They were super awful. They're, like, little caterpillar thorns. They yeah, like, them. it was so awful. So she got a thorn in her foot right at the beginning of when we were hiking. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm like, oh, stop. And I can hold on to you, and you can get it out. She's like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And so she went, and she had that thorn in her foot the whole time we were hiking around no no no, that's not true i took it out at the top of the hill oh okay so because i could sit down so we kind of split up and she went a different way and then we went okay. around because we had you know tough shoes on right we went around and and explored these other cool places and we met her at the top of this hill which you know we took it wasn't out. really a hill it's a big rock it was a rock it's like the yeah, like pretty here it's super pretty it's it. it you can't tell how big it is from here though Ooh, it's right behind us <laughs> anyway so my thought was in our, you know, health journey, sometimes we end up stepping on a thorn, right? And we take that thorn with us on the journey where we don't really need to be. Hi, my Kate. Thank you for doing the dishes, Annie. And I think that there's some times that, that we do that. Like maybe we take like too many keto treats or we take, you know, whatever thing that is unnecessary that we're we're taking with us and it's a thorn in our foot and i think we could probably take that out sooner and then that would maybe be better for us and i'm grateful at this time like i'm trying to keep my health in order so that i can go do these things like i could get out into the water i can climb up on the sand and in the dunes and all the things oh and guess what else happened today 
I did something I've never done before, and you guys might laugh because it's not hard for everybody, but apparently it's been hard for me. Holly Larrabee got her self, uh, what is it called? Paddleboard. Oh, Holly got herself a paddleboard like two or three years ago, and I keep telling myself I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and then I never did. But today... I fell over <laughs> multiple times. But yeah. you know what? It was really awesome because we were all in the water. They were floating on tubes and floaty things. And I was floating. And I'm like, I'm going to do this tube. So I asked Sam, I'm like, how do you get on? How do you, you know, do this? He's like, just do this, just do this. And of course, it's really easy for him because he's super lightweight and fit. <laughs> um, but I'm like, okay, I'll try this. But I was really happy that I got the support that I needed, right? So I was like, okay, well, now how do I get up on my knees? And the kids are like, oh, do this or do this. And I'm like, I did it, I did it. And everybody's like, hey, good job. Oh, I'm like, oh, thank you. I was so happy. So I just feel so grateful that my family so awesome and even little things can be a big win. Well, I'm gonna keep practicing. So I, I feel very accomplished. We did something hard today. And, and let's not keep that thorn you know, but oh, here's dad. Do you want to say hi? You're so cute. I'm saying hi. Well, just over there. Hi. Oh, you get the beautiful background behind you. How was your day? It was good. Good? Yeah. You look so cute when your hair's sticking up. Okay. Okay. And there's a boat behind you. There's Steve's boat. A boat. Hi. Also, Steve and Holly. Look, Steve's laying weirdly on the boat. <laughs> wow. You're not kidding. <laughs> It is really hot here, and we were playing in the water all day yesterday, so we didn't really notice how hot it was. But everybody had such a hard time sleeping because it was so hot. And uh, you can see, we've got a tent there. We had a couple kids sleeping in that tent. There's one next to it. And we were all just dying last night. So it's early. I don't even know what time it is. 7.30. That's not that early, actually. But... It's not that hot yet, so we got up and we're wandering for a little hike before it gets too hot so we don't die. So last time we came here about five years ago, the water was up to this rock for whatever reason. And now it's just, uh, there's just a bunch of plants. And this whole area was like this cute little tiny lake and we threw rocks in it and had a good old time. So surprisingly with the water higher, we thought it would still be here, but it's not. <laughs> There's Kate's foot. We've got the phone in a little hidey hole here. But we're just thinking as we're climbing up these hills, sometimes it's too slippery and we have to find a different route, right? But sometimes with just a little hand from someone else, we can make it. So if we can look at our journey and try to figure out what hand to hold, sometimes that's really helpful. I know there's been a lot of hands that I've held through this keto journey I've been on, and I'm super grateful to be able to have that little extra lift. So right now we're doing biscuits and gravy. This is just pork sausage. We're gonna put heavy cream in it. Whoa. And then Holly over here is making the not as flat um, biscuits. These are the ones I made which turn out flat always. And she's like, hey, that's not right. Like, Fine, something you do it right. Those are made with pork rice. Those so are these are pork panko ones. ones. And, and these are almond flour ones. Almond flour, I still need to put the butter that's, in. That's the difference, right? Yeah. What are the ladies doing? We are making breakfast for everyone. All the meats. 
We had a few pieces of bacon that didn't cook and we are not going to waste it. What are you eating, Sam? Delicious gravy biscuits and, and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely see, eating gravy and biscuits. Let's see your plate. I'm yeah. doing biscuits and gravy and I'm Holly gravy was so nice as to grab me the uh, softer, uh, yeah. less crunchy bacon. Because I like it, not crunchy Sorry, bacon. And a swimsuit. We are in Antelope Canyon. Um, it's a slot canyon. Really cool. It, it goes back and forth a lot. So we're just here checking out the sights, seeing what it looks like. just getting started on dinner but it's something super easy because we made lasagna ahead of time this was a really good one because we're pretty like tired from the day like we're we were just talking about how we are water park tired but now water park tired is gonna have to be um lake powell tired mm -hmm. it's gonna be a, a new tired so the fact that it's just like heat and eat really nice so she just made us a little salad Kate's got us some blackberries. She got the lasagna already, and we stick it. We stuck it into this box over here. Let me show you. Here's some celery. We're gonna heat up some asparagus too, and then here's our lasagna just in the box, warming up. We got two, just like the low carb, uh, just like the real thing, lasagna. Peace, love, and low carbs recipe, which is my favorite. Uh, we have keto lasagna. Uh, it's peace, love, and low carbs recipe. The noodles are made out of eggs, some cream cheese, and some cheese. That's really super easy to make. We also use it for pizza crust. But Miriam whipped this up uh, before we left, and we just put it inside of a grill box because we didn't want to heat up the the boat because it's hot enough. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're having for dinner. And have you been having any of these? Oh, t so many of these. Rachel just did, like, how many of the capsules did Rachel do? Six? Yeah. We've been putting this in the stuff we drink and just taking these. But look how empty that bottle is now. Like, yeah, we brought that lot. brand new full, and it's already oh, going it's down. down. We've been kind of going through them every day. Everybody's been having a couple, which is good because we're super sweaty. Yeah. So let me show you my plate. This is what I have. I've got a little bit of asparagus, a couple of blackberries, and then the lasagna, which is falling everywhere. So I'm gonna eat that now. Yum! We're here, we're on day, what day is it, Wednesday? Of our 
day three of our Lake Powell trip. But wanted to tell you about what happened last night. Terrible. Oh my gosh. Actually... So terrible. Okay, so last night, we're just about getting ready for bed. Ruth and Audrey were about to go into their tent. Sam had a tent out on the shore we're also. We're restaking the tent. Cause... Yes, we're restaking the tent. Yeah. And um, I was over here. Just a little ways, let me show you. Over there, there's a little place that has a, a bunch of rocks. And it has, there's little crawdads there. So we were, kinda, we were trying to catch crawdads. And we came back. And I'm not kidding, in two seconds, as soon as I got on shore... It started raining and it was like mm-hmm. piercing rain. It was bad. And it, well, it wasn't our like... windows of our tent was open. Yeah. And the rain was blowing this way. So it's literally getting in the tent. So it was like I pelting us. And I I was like, Sam, did you get your stuff? Because he decided he wasn't going to sleep in the tent. He was getting his stuff out of the tent and going to uh, be in the not trailer. Yeah. The boat. Because us. it was really hot. Because like, it was really hot last night. Yeah. Or not at poor. Yeah. Not last night. But as we're as we're getting all the spraying and stuff, I went. I ran out, even though it was raining. As I was supposed to, it didn't matter if I got wet. I ran out to help Sam collect his stuff. And when I turned around and got back, the entire houseboat was turned sideways. The wind gust microburst must have been. Yeah, wind turned the houseboat and pulled it, the anchors yeah, out. Yeah, it pulled the anchors out, out the on anchors the right out. side. Which so is these ones were the really starboard good. Starboard side, and the other ones. Were not so good. They were, they were very much out we're right here. You want to come in and tell us about what we're talking about last night? Yeah. So we're all uh, scared and trying to. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Come on in. Come. Well, we're just like it. talking about putting the. Yes. So the anchor so, like flew off. Like I've never seen an anchor skedaddle so fast. But it's because we didn't bury them properly. So the two again on the starboard side, which is the right side. For any of you who don't know both terms, um, mm-hmm. it like literally like dug into the ground and it's like skidded, a- skidded on the ground like a little bug, and it was it was really awful because we had to fix them. And every single time we tried to fix them, we kept going to the port side, which is the left side. Yeah. So crazy. So we were. It was it was awful. <laughs> We were really grateful that Joe was here and that Steve and Holly were here because Holly and Steve were on this side trying to direct where to go. And then Joe was over on this side um, trying to tell us, tell Chris where to go. And he was inside the, trying to turn on the engine and which engine was right. Yeah, and we were and pushing on, on this side. Between what Steve yes. And what Steve yes. And Joe weren't hitting. Because they were, they were on very much opposite <laughs> sides and it was like really loud because the engine was running half the time. So we were like. I was like yelling, being like, guys, stop for a second. So then we forcefully pushed the boat, the three of us, yeah. Holly, and, st- oh, and pushed yeah. the front of the boat this way. Yeah, so and that's the left and, side, we pushed it. And then another time, Chris and I pulled the back of the boat that way. And then, anyway, we went back and forth, back and forth. We finally got Are the y'all? anchors oh, set up. Yeah, and we dug we, a giant hole. It was huge. And, of course, by now it was completely dark. So yeah. Chris and Steve it was like ten dirty big hole for the first anchor. Chris is digging a hole because right as soon as the sun went down, our boat just went ski wampus because we got a first came along, it shoved all of the deck chairs in weird places. And then we realized the boat came loose. Yeah, and it was so we about tried to, to fix crash, it. crash into mm-hmm. Steve's boat. We got a line wrapped around the props. We had to jump in the water, <laughs> unwrap the line, and now we're digging all of the anchors back in. But we got a whole group of family here, and so yeah. it's nice and easy to do. Yep. And Steve and is outside carrying an anchor line still. Yeah. He's like, I'll just readjust it one more time. So this Joe and I run to the door and we're like, girls, forget your stuff. Get yeah. in here. And, okay. Oh, no. And, but from me, from the side where I was like walking up there. Yeah. And I could see. I saw him come down. Saw, saw. Like it was. She saw the, the, the light. So long. And she, she, she was, was screaming. I just, because I couldn't even see the lightning. Right? All I could yeah. just hear was the thunder. Yeah. I, could, I could see it. And it was funny because I could see the difference in color. I could see like the white part and then the purple part. And they were two different parts. And then I was like looking over and I'm like, we're going. <laughs> it was, it was 
crazy because what I just heard was thunder and then I'm like, oh, I should get down. And then all I hear is this terrifying scream, like literally so <laughs> terrified scream. Like it's a haunted house times like 2000. <laughs> and I'm like looking behind me just a little bit and I'm like, <laughs> and we run back, not even picking up any of our stuff. I'm holding like three hammers in my hand. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I was running like this. Any stakes in the tent. We're like, let's go. We're like, we're done. We're okay. And everybody was like, is there anything valuable in your tent? And I'm like, well, my wallet right now. That's it. And we weren't even sure if the tent was like, closed. All the matters. Like, like, yeah, so like, it doesn't matter. I had for the lighting store. We're just like, well, I don't know what's so going on. And then I had to change my pajamas, and I thought I didn't have any. And then I was like, the one she thing did. I brought was my suitcase. It's so awesome. She had her suitcase. <laughs> yeah, it worked out really well. Well, we're going to get ready for bed. They are just doing their last couple of runs on the water, and the sun is going to go down. I'll show it to you. There's the water. There's the gold. You can see the shadow. Like go backwards. It does look like Chino does. Um, okay, honey. <laughs> here's, oh, here's, there's the little spot that we were sh looking for crawdads. You can see right there. Yeah, it's like the, a little island. It's, it's just a bunch of rocks. Oh, and there's a big rock on the side. You can see there's waves going on it. Oh, uh, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, on the side of that? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit right That's there. A big rock right there. You can see her right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's super pretty. I mean, look at how cold gold that is. You see what the the water is really pretty. Mm -hmm. There's two houseboats, which is funny because they're by us, but they're not by us. We have not been bothered at all, and it's just been really great. Yeah, yeah. One, one of the, the gold is right here. It's really nice when your tubes flew. They put rocks on the side so they wouldn't fly away again. Yeah. Alrighty, well, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We just finished our day, and there was a point earlier on this trip where everyone got off the boat and into the water, and only one person stayed on the boat. And I started thinking, like, why are they not getting on, off the boat? Maybe they're tired, maybe whatever. And I thought, you used to not get off the boat, Miriam. You used to always just sit on the boat. And I have been thinking about this. Like, I have been sitting on the boat forever. Or on the beach. I just prefer to sit on the beach and sit there. and Or sit on the boat and not get up and go crawl around. Or change out my shoes or whatever. And I always just thought, oh, it's fine. I'm, I'm tired. Chris can go with the kids. It'll be fine. They'll have a good time without me. I'll just sit here on the boat and wait. And I don't know if it's because I was afraid or I was just being lazy. But I feel like I'm a little different now. And maybe it's because I went keto. Maybe it's because of my scuba diving adventures so that I have become a little bit more brave, but I'm, I'm embracing being brave and doing harder things and getting off the boat and going to explore the shore and going to do things that I wouldn't be doing because usually I was just sitting on the boat. So maybe take a look and see if you're sitting on the boat. Are you trying to have an adventure? Are you trying to examine your life and see what you could do better or different so that you can get off the boat so you can be brave. And I think it's okay to be okay, right? It's okay to sit on the boat and have a good time and watch and enjoy. But if there's a chance you could get off the boat, maybe you should take the leap and get off the boat. That's all. Woo! I see